Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws gave information on Wednesday as it pertains to the quarantine procedures for returning nationals to St. Kitts and Nevis under COVID-19 guidelines. And so if you are overseas and you wish to return home, uh, you must send a letter or an email of application uh, to the Chief Executive Officer of SCASPA uh, requesting same and you provide the details uh, of your charter because uh, I must say that our ports remain closed. And then once permission is granted, uh, you will be uh, provided this information. So once you would have returned to the Federation, you would automatically go into quarantine at a government designated quarantine site. And for now, that site is, at, uh, is located in the Fortlands area. And uh, there is a cost attached uh, to this accommodation, you will be in quarantine for 14 days and the cost for that duration is US $500 for 14 days. Yeah, please note the cost, US $500 for the 14 day period. And this cost is to be borne by the incoming traveler. Now, uh, at the end of your quarantine period, that's day number 14, uh, you will be sampled and your sample will be sent to our local Next Generation Lab for processing. Again, there is a cost to that. Uh, the cost is US $100. Now, part of that fee goes to Next Gen Lab for processing the sample. However, the rest uh, is, is covers the cost for the personal protective gear that must be worn by the health professional to take the sample and then the sampling requires the use of a swab and a viral transport media and so that fee covers the cost the entire cost of sampling. Dr. Laws noted that with a second wave of COVID cases expected steps have to be taken to protect the citizens and residents of the Federation. So we need to shift from the strict nationwide lockdowns, which is really damaging to the economy, and find ways in which uh, organizations, businesses, hotels, bus, public transportation can uh, operate and coexist with the virus. Now, we need to strengthen our health system. We need to employ targeted ways to identify and stop outbreaks before they become second and third waves. Head of the COVID-19 Task Force, Abdia Samuel, said the nation will have to learn to live with the virus and appealed to the public to follow guidelines recommended by the health authorities. I'm Andre Huey, reporting for SKN Newsline. A High Court judge has ordered St. Kitts Nevis Deputy Prime Minister Sean Richards to pay former St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party Senator Nigel Carty $375,000 EC in damages for a 10-year-old defamation case. Mr. Richards has said he will appeal the ruling. In his June 15, 2020 ruling, his Lordship Mr. Justice Eddie Ventos awarded Carty, who was Minister of Education and Information in 2010, $50,000 for aggravated damages and $50,000 for exemplary damages. Richards, at the time, was sitting on the opposition benches. Mr. Richards, in a statement on Wednesday, confirmed he will be appealing the ruling. My attention has been drawn to a judgment delivered out of the High Court of Justice in the case brought by Nigel Carty against me in 2016, alleging defamation of his character in 2010. That judgment is on an application arising out of the oral judgment delivered at the end of trial which was held on 15th April 2019. Nigel Carty was the only person who gave evidence at the trial of his defamation suit. No witness gave evidence in support of his claim at the trial. The oral judgment is the main judgment on which his judgment depended upon. On my instructions, the oral judgment was appealed and my appeal is pending. I am dissatisfied with the main judgment and I am confident that my appeal will be decided in my favor. In awarding Carty damages, Justice Ventos noted that it was to compensate him for the wrong he has suffered and the damage to his reputation, to vindicate his good name for the distress, hurt and humiliation which the defamation publication caused Carty. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. 
In stressful times, you need relief, a way to release your stress and care for your health. You need Serenity. Yes, Serenity Mobile Spa, where we come to your home and offer the very best in massage and spa treatment. Your health is our priority as we practice the highest hygiene procedures before, during, and after your treatment. Choose from massages to meet your physical needs, scrubs, facials, waxing, and much more. We also provide our customers a complimentary serving of refreshing local coconut water with each massage. During these restricted times, we urge our customers to stay healthy. We will come to you. Call us at 7620157 or 7608899. Find us on Facebook, Serenity Mobile Spa Sinkit. Or email us at Serenity Mobile Spa 869 at gmail.com. Serenity Mobile Spa. Looking for a clean haircut to make you look your best? Then, then come, come to Creative, Creative Barber Salon, Salon on Church, Church Street, Street Bastier. At Creative Barber Salon, you can choose from a wide variety of services straight haircut, cut and shave, square and shave, children haircut. Ladies cut, square, and much more. Customer, Customer service, service guaranteed. guaranteed. Opening hours Monday to Thursday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Friday to Saturday, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Call 765-0460. Visit Creative Barber Salon today on Church Street, Bastier. Specializing, Specializing in, in all styles, styles of haircuts. Of haircuts. the finest in Pandora jewelry at Noble Jewelers for Zante. Like our Facebook page and get special offers. Noble Jewelers, your Pandora store for Zante. St. Kitts and Nevis Head of Immigration, Mercedes Hughes, has provided more information on the 13 Haitian nationals held this week for entering the island illegally. She was addressing the NEOC weekly briefing on Wednesday. The information that we got, we got the information on Monday. The police would have executed a search warrant in the Keys community and found 10 Haitians in a house and in the mountainside of keys they were handed over to the immigration department as they entered the country illegally so they are illegal migrants they're all males um, we found well as I said before we had 10 in the early part of Monday and by evening we had 12 and yesterday morning we found another one so we now have 13 male adult male Haitians in immigration slash police custody. Mrs. Hughes noted that considering that the country has porous borders, the support of the public on both islands is needed as it relates to the illegal entry of persons along the coastline. The police and immigration continues our investigations. We would like to inform or to, to appeal to the general public that if you see something, say something. We've been hearing rumors over the last few months that persons are coming in by sea. They, our borders are porous. We hear that all the time, that our borders are open, they are porous, and so getting in sometimes could be a little more, a little easier than for, um, for some countries that do not have the nice lush beaches that we do. And so it's easy for, for, for illegal smuggling and the trafficking to, to, to take place. And so we're asking persons, if you see something, instead of just taking pictures and posting it on Facebook, you have the police emergency, 911. You can call and you can relay that information so that all the, the, the security forces and social partners can get involved. I would like to say that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was informed of this activity and so they will be in communication with the foreign affairs of Haiti to, um, to discuss what, is, what the next step would be. 
Ten of the 13 illegal immigrants were held in Keys Village on Monday. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. Police are reporting that restaurants that have been operating under the recently announced relaxed measures by the government are not living up to the COVID-19 guidelines. Superintendent Cromwell Henry disclosed this during the NEOC weekly briefing on Wednesday. To see the scene in the Frigate Bay on the weekend of June 20th, especially on the Strip, it was one of blatant disregard for the safety protocols listed in the emergency regulations. There was hardly any semblance of a concern for the spread of the coronavirus, no wearing of masks, not even by the staff of some of the establishments there, no physical and social distancing, and no hygiene protocols were observed. At 11 p.m. when the police stopped the activities, there was even some resistance from the establishment owners. We remind all that the curfew begins at 12 midnight nightly. Prior to COVID-19, establishments were required to seek permission, written permission from the police to play loud music on their premises, and this requirement has not changed. Superintendent Henry also said police will be stepping up their inspection of public transport as some bus drivers are not abiding by the COVID-19 guidelines. Some concerns that we have about the operations of the passenger bus service and their disregard for the provisions of the regulations. The bus operators should be aware by now of their obligations, and so the police will be stepping up enforcement activities in this area. We appeal to the traveling public to have regard for your own health and avoid overcrowded buses and the risk they pose when the protocols are not observed. The government announced recently new state of emergency measures relaxation of some of the restrictions including lessening curfew hours from 12 midnight to 5 a.m. and for the allowance for dining at restaurants. The government also allowed for the resumption of the selling of alcohol. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. When it comes to prescription and all your healthcare needs, that is the new Paris Pharmacy. Located on Westbourne Gut Bar Stair near Skillec, offering the following services. A full and computerized prescription filling service, drug interaction monitoring, extended opening hours, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. during weekdays, open six hours on Sundays, holidays, and available for emergencies. A wide range of medicines at reasonable prices and top quality. We are not the largest, but try the hardest to please you. Paris Pharmacy, always there, taking care. Reach us on Facebook, WhatsApp, or call direct 465-8569-762-7919 and 763-9142. Paris Pharmacy, that's all that matters. The hurricane season is upon us and these are the times we need to get the best shutters to protect your property. Look no further. Conquering Storm, Storm Shutters and Industrial and Home Styles and Rentals, Rentals Limited. At Conquering Storm Shutters, you get a variety of shutters. Roll-in, accordion, panel, colonial, and Bahama. Get windows, garage doors, railings, gates, and much more. Need scaffoldings and prop jacks for rental? Then get the best deals at Industrial Home Styles and Rentals Limited. Two companies offering quality service and products. Located at two locations in the Federation. Lower Monkey Hills and Peters and Low Ground Estate Proslow Industrial Site, Charlestown Nevis. Telephone 764-7189 or 663-6296. You think it, we build it. Clear your mind and clean your hands. High Five Sanitizer is committed to changing mindsets in personal hygiene. Educating families in St. Kitts and Nevis about the importance of keeping our hands and surfaces clean is our top priority. It takes a village, and it starts with all of us setting a good example and inspiring a positive mindset. Our pocket-sized two-ounce hand sanitizer bottles and their convenient dispenser caps are the perfect size for you and your kids on the go. You could also purchase our one or two liter refill spigot bottles for instant top-up. Our superior hand sanitizer is made with local aloe vera from our farmers in St. Kitts and Nevis, blended with 70% alcohol approved by our Bureau of Standards. 
So clear your mind and clean your hands with High Five Hand and Surface Sanitizer. Coming soon, our car sanitizer. Contact us on 869-760-6229. Scan this. Boy, what does that stand for? We are Sankis and Nevis Waste Disposals. Oh, so it's I just rent the big bin for when people clean in the yard and construction project and so? Yes, we do that. Okay, so what about septic tank and grease trap cleaning? Yes, yes we, we do, do that. Then portable toilet rental? Yes, we do that. So what about if I want to rent a sexy bar home trailer for like VIP events or my outdoors wedding. Yes, we do that. Residential garbage pickup. Yes, we do that. Okay, okay, okay. So if my office have a bunch of documents, we need shredded. Yes, we do that. Boy, I talking to you, one, you know. But when you answer me, I hearing like 10 people. That's just the strength of our team working for you. Watch now. Call us at 662-3329 and we'll come and do that for you. Like us on Facebook. There may be some relaxing of the regulations pertaining to sports and recreation by June 27th, the date for the next iteration of the emergency powers regulations, according to Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws. The CMO and National Emergency Operations Committee, NIOC, engaged sports sector stakeholders at Warner Park on June 18th. While making the revelation, the CMO also issued caution with how sports stakeholders advise on the resumption of sports and recreation warning that the health of citizens cannot be compromised because of hasty decision-making. CMO laws also tasked the Ministry of Sport with the commissioning of an educational campaign for athletes and players about playing in the context of COVID-19. I see factory sessions being allowed in the next iteration of emergency powers regulations. I see training sessions being a part of that town that it's going to be written. Probably practice matches, but... Uh, uh, it's with reservation that we would say yes to in-stadium spectators in the first phase. I think players and the essential support persons needs to be on board in the first phase and you need to get that right and then we could then say maybe in the next iteration, uh, you know, bring in in, in, in stadium, Dr. Laws also emphasized the importance of taking physical distancing and social distancing, proper use of facilities, adequate screening tools for matches, etc., mask and hand sanitization, especially for high risk sports, strategy for traceability of players slash athletes, and predictions and projections of needs and ways of procurement while working toward the resumption of sports and recreation. NEOC Chairman Abdia Samuel echo the sentiments of CMO laws, noting that sports stakeholders should guide them with protocols and procedures. He encouraged sporting associations to make their submissions to the Ministry of Sport, who would then present them to the NEOC, who will in turn advise Cabinet on the easing of restrictions. New Minister of Sport, Honorable John L. Powell, used the forum to recommend the creation of a task force to assist the various sporting disciplines with the trimming of COVID-19 policies from their international governing bodies to suit St. Kitts and Nevis. It has been over 60 days since the last announced case of COVID-19 in St. Kitts and Nevis, but there is still extreme caution as discussions are being held in relation to the opening up of the country's borders. The World Health Organization, WHO, says the pandemic is worsening and the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, says there is a high risk of importing the virus once borders reopen. Newly elected Minister of Education, Sport, Youth and Culture, Honorable John L. Powell, joined the St. Kitts and Nevis Olympic Committee, SKNOC, in commemorating the Olympic spirit at their office on June 20th. Powell was given a tour of the SKNOC Renovation and Expansion Project 2020 in a visit strategically planned to coincide with celebrations to honor the global sporting body. Ahead of Olympic Day on June 23rd, Minister Powell commended the SKNOC for their visionary work, especially as they make significant changes to their office space to better facilitate the development of youth through sport. 
He also pledged his government's continued support to the SKNOC as the body adapts to the changing sporting landscape while preparing for the future. From what I understand, um, the, this project will benefit from over $20,000 in concessions, and um, I think that I am I'm good to, to go in saying that the government will continue to assist um, wherever we can, not just on this project, but future projects and just the general development of the, the, the work of my, the, the National Olympic Committee. The SKNOC Renovation and Expansion Project 2020, which entails tripling the size of the existing facility and major upgrades, is forecasted to be completed by October 31st. Additional Olympic Day activities will also include a donation of masks to the Ministry of Health and addressed to the nation by the President of the SKNOC, Alfonso Bridgewater, and the showcasing of video clips reliving key sporting moments related to St. Kitts and Nevis on ZIZ later this week. Auto Plus Car Wash, located on the Collins Street Gut, Bastyr St. Kitts. Bring your car to Auto Plus Car Wash to remove water stains, wiper marks, get your doors, roof panel cleaned, seat floor mats, buffing, headlights, and engine wash. You get quality service at the best price at Auto Plus Car Wash. They really care for your car. Call 765-5140 or visit them on the Collins Street Gut, Bastyr St. Kitts. Auto Plus Car Wash, where the service is number one. For all your printing needs at top-notch quality, go to Digital Print Plus, located on Princess Street, Bastyr St. Kitts. At Digital Print Plus, you get the best in business cards, letterheads, envelopes, wristbands, tent cards, rack cards, flyers, brochures, logo designs, posters, photos, architectural designs, 3D renderings, and so much more. Digital Print Plus gives you the best quality at competitive prices. Contact us at 767-7468 or email digitalprintskn at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook at Digital Print SKN. Digital Print Plus for all your printing needs at the best quality. Now you can have SK Newsline on the go. Introducing SK Newsline Android mobile app. Search SK Newsline in the Google Play Store. Download the app free and stay up to date with TV news in St. Kitts and Nevis in the palm of your hands. With this app, you can watch your news reports, watch our live news feed on SK Newsline TV, engage with us and other app users in the chat room, look at our special features, send us news tips, and call us directly. It's, it's news, news on the, the go. go. The SK Newsline Android mobile app. Download, Download it free today. today. We at Multigraphics are dedicated to providing quality products and service to our customers. Our team takes pride in the craftsmanship and is passionate about its work. Every job, large or small, is important. Most of our customers come to us through referrals. That's because our number one priority is service. We serve a wide variety of customers, such as restaurants, retail stores, manufacturers, trucking companies, and many more. Our capabilities include design, production, and installation. How can we help? We are located at Bird Rock at the Woods Wright compound. Call us at 869-763-1511 or 784-491-7599. Multigraphics. KVK Enterprises at Boyd's Housing Development, Trinity Parish, St. Kitts. For all your t-shirt printing, banners and signs, promotional products, shipping, motivational speeches, computer classes, agro-processing, art and craft, and desktop publishing. Come to KVK Enterprises at Boyd's Housing Development, Trinity, St. Kitts. Telephone 661-0118 or 765-7270. Email drkhrystus at kvklives.com or visit www.kvklives.com. KVK Enterprises. <laughs>